I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on application of vectors. Now this question has been taken from IB test paper. The question here is boat A's home port is at minus 10 4. Boat B's home port is at 3 minus 13. They both leave their respective ports at the same instant. Boat A's velocity is 2 minus 1 and boat B's velocity is minus 1 3. Position is in kilometers and time in hours. Find the minimum distance between them. So let's first write down the equation of these boats. Uh, A, we'll write XA and YA. So the position of these boats can be written in vector form with initial position which is minus 10 4 plus t times the velocity for boat a velocity is 2 minus 1 right 2 minus 1 now from here you can write what x is x a is equals to minus 10 plus 2t and y a is equals to 4 minus t correct now let's look into the other boat which is boat b x b y b can be written as initial position which is 3 minus 13 plus t times velocity which is minus 1 3 right so its position can be written as x b equals to 3 minus t and y b as equal to minus 13 plus 3 t now we need to find minimum distance between them so we can find general equation for distance between them let's say distance d between them will be uh, let's say x b minus x a y b minus y right so that becomes the distance between them so we can now substitute their values x b is 3 minus t minus x a which is minus 10 plus 2 t y b is minus 13 plus 3 t minus y a which is 4 minus t okay, let's simplify this 3 uh, minus t which is minus minus becomes plus so 3 plus 10 is 13 minus t plus minus this means minus 3t minus 13 and minus 4 makes it minus 17 3t minus minus becomes plus so we have plus 4t there right so that is the displacement now we need to minimize distance so minimum distance will also result in minimum square of the distance, correct? So, so basically oh, what we can do is we can square this. The idea is the magnitude of this distance is how much? Square root of all this, right? Let's write down. Magnitude of the distance will be 13 minus 3t whole square plus minus 17 plus 4t whole square right that becomes the magnitude of distance now if you want to minimize distance then square of this also should be minimum correct that is to say square means 13 minus 3t whole square plus minus 17 plus 4t whole square should also be minimum right that's the whole idea so we'll minimize the square of the distance right which will give us some value of t we'll use that value of t to find the answer so let's square this 13 square is 169 minus 2 a b so let's use calculator so we have 2 times 13 times 3 that gives us 78 so minus 78 
t plus 9t square and then minus 17 square 17 square is 289 minus 2 times 17 times 4 which is 136 t plus 16 t square right 16 t square now we can combine these t squares which is 25 t square 78 and 136 78 plus 136 gives us 214 so we have minus 214 t constants are 169 plus 289 289 which gives us 458 so we have plus 458 right so that becomes square of distance <coughs> As you can see, the square of distance is like a parabola, right? So t squared positive coefficient. So that gives you a parabola kind of like this. And so that gives vertex as the minimum. So at least we are sure that t value is going to give us minimum in this case. Now, how do we find t? A couple of ways. Those of you who have done calculus, they can do derivatives. And if not, we can do completing squares. So most students have not done calculus so far. So I'll rewrite this equation and minimize distance square. So we have 25 t square minus 214t plus 458. So completing squares means we'll take 25 common we are left with 2 square minus 214 divided by 25. 214 divided by 25 in decimals, 8.560. And we'll keep this outside, 458. So that gives us 25 t square minus 8.560. And what is half of this? Divide by 2 decimals 4.28 so we'll add 4.28 square take away 4.28 square and then add this 458 okay okay close the bracket here now that one is a perfect square so we get 25 t minus 4.28 whole square and here we have square of 4.28 so 4.28 square is equal to decimals let me write this as minus 18.3 let's say 2 well we'll use the square value okay plus 458 let's open the bracket so we get 25 times t minus 4.28 whole square minus so we'll do 25 times 4.28 square that'll be better right 25 times 4.28 square is equal to, in decimals, 457.96. And we have here 4, I mean 458, right? 458. So let's see what we have. 25 t minus 4.28 whole square and minus and plus. So we'll add, uh, we'll We'll take away this. We have 458 minus 457.96 equals to 1 over 25 is 0 0.04, right? So that's what we get. So what we get here is that at t equals to uh, 4.28 hours, minimum distance. distance square is 0 0.04 right this is what we get so how much is minimum distance so minimum distance equals to square root of 0 0.04 so let's find this so it's 0 0.2 right answer equals to decimal 0 0.2 
So that is our answer. So minimum distance is 0 0.2 kilometers, which will be after 4.28 hours, right? So that is how you can solve such questions. Now this is a very interesting question, kind of difficult at this stage. You should go through this derivative, I mean, the solution and understand each and every step is going to really help you to solve some good questions in the test paper. I'm Anil Kumar. Thanks for sharing your time. Feel free to subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.